بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله وحده والصلاة والسلام على من لا نبي بعده Dear respected viewers, السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Welcome to another brand new episode of the program entitled Towards the Origin, broadcasted live from the studio of Channel S, watched on Sky 734. To all of those who have joined with us through our Facebook page, we welcome you all to this program and inshallah, this program also will be repeated on the following day, as well as you'll also find us later on our YouTube channel. Islam, unfortunately today, is one of the most misunderstood religion. Alhamdulillah, as Muslim, as Ummah, we are very proud about when it comes to the fastest growing religion in the world is Islam. But on the other hand, we should also take a lesson, take a moment, perhaps take a step back and understand why is it that even though this religion is one of the fastest growing, but yet, unfortunately, it is one of the most misunderstood. A lot of accusation against this religion, a lot of assumptions against this religion and the followers why is it? What is the reason behind it? Are we as Muslim to be blamed? Or is it the, the understanding of non-Muslim or perhaps even some Muslims who perhaps not, do not even understand the religion completely and blame Islam for a lot of the problems that are happening in this world? Inshallah, in tonight's or today's discussion, we'll be contemplating and finding out more about why and what are the reasons of Islam being the most misunderstood. But before we move on to the discussion, the formalities, the formalities must be proceeded with. We have been joined with our regular guest, who is the respected Imam or one of the Imam and Khatib of famously known mosque, Regent's Park Mosque, and is also a graduate of Al Azhar University, Fadilat al Sheikh Qadi Lutf Rahman. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to the program and thank you very much for joining My with pleasure, us. My pleasure, Brother Qamar. Jazakallah khairan. Now, the title Islam, a uh, misunderstood religion. That's right. Tonight's topic. Now, as soon as we hear the word Islam and then the word misunderstood is also attached to it and unfortunately wherever we see in our today's society whether it be the print media whether it be the broadcast media whether it be the public in general the politicians everywhere Islam is always to be blamed for anything that takes place That's right. in the world unfortunately now I would like to start our conversation is it the religion itself to be blamed or is it the followers of the religion do not uphold the true teaching of Islam? Or, as Muslim, have we failed to deliver the true message of Islam? طيب الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين نبينا محمد بن عبد الله وعلى آله وصحبه الطيبين الطاهرين ومن تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين سبحانك لا علم لنا إلا ما علمتنا إنك أنت علام الغيوب ربنا افتح بيننا وبين قومنا بالحق وأنت خير الفاتحين After praising Allah and sending salam and salutations to the noble Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam I would like to testify that there is none worthy of worship except Allah, He is one and He has no partners and I also testify that the noble Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the final messenger and slave of Allah the Almighty um, tonight we are discussing uh, on a very important topic entitled as Islam, a misunderstood religion. Um, I believe that Islam, as brother mentioned earlier, that it is the fastest growing religion in the world today. But unfortunately, it is still the most probably misunderstood religion uh, by, the, by many, many non-Muslims, and not only just non-Muslims, but even many Muslims. Um, Turbago Bashoto Jodio, Islam Kinto Kubi Druto, Chana Pritibir Mod de Procharabon Prochar Hotse, Kito Tarpuram de Tepati, the Islam Shamporkonik, Bull Bujabujirogese, Islam Shampork Manusher on a Bull Darna Regese, Shudita O Muslim der Muddenoi, Kinto Amader on a Musulman der Muddokin to a Bull Darna Regese, Amronike, Islam, Musulman Shabbat Nijit Camera, Musulman Shabbat Musulman Shabbat Dabikuri, Kinto Air Puro de Kaja, Islam Shamporke Amader Kisu. Dissatisfaction, Regece, Islam Shampurke Amadir Kisu Bul Dharna Regece. There could be many different reasons for that. Sometimes we can say um, there are people who are working constantly, probably, to give a bad image or a bad name of this beautiful religion. Um, and, and there are, of course, people uh, are, you know, are responsible for that. Now, can I, mm. uh, I would like to bring your attention to, yes, Apijiki Bishoy. 
bullets in, that could be one of the side. But the other side as well, we see that a lot of Muslims today, we see, try to legitimize the direct prohibitions mm -hmm. that are directly mentioned in the Quran as something that they can perhaps indulge in either in their business or their daily life, making it in, in an indirect way, if not direct, mm. something that could be used as a halal means. Or perhaps if they use it for business, yep. they might not take the income from that generated mm. haram or mm. prohibited mm -hmm. uh, product. I uh, think again, that goes to again misunderstanding probably the concept of the, of the religion. No. Uh, no. uh, but uh, uh, yes, Islam is generally, uh, I think, very highly misunderstood by the the community, many communities in the world, no. Muslims as well as uh, many many non-Muslims. True, but even if I add, some Muslims I have heard, I'm sure as a Sheikh and Imam and Khatib, you've heard many a time they say, if I have to follow Islam completely, I won't be able to manage my life in today's world. Yes, so now we're coming to this point by point, inshallah, we'll go through. I'm going to take a point where I'm going to talk about এবং কোন বিষয়ে আমরা ইসলাম ধর্মকে মিসআন্ডারস্ট্যান্ড করতেছি আমরা ভুল ধারণা রয়ে গেছে আমাদের আমাদের মনের মধ্যে আমাদের আমাদের নলেজের মধ্যে সো ইসলাম ইজ ইজ রিয়েলি আনফর্চুনেটলি এ মিসআন্ডারস্ট্যান্ড রিলিজন ইন দ্য ওয়ার্ল্ড টুডে এন্ড আই সেড দ্যাট দার আর দার আর থিংস রেসপন্সিবল পার্টলি দার আর পিপল হু আর ট্রাইং টু কোজ দিস মিসআন্ডারস্ট্যান্ডিং এমংস দ্য পিপল অফ দ্য ওয়ার্ল্ড নন মুসলিমস and even many many muslims unfortunately uh, probably are influenced or maybe somehow um, you know are taking or misunderstanding and taking the knowledge or taking the understanding uh, of islam in a negative way from other people and other nations and i even see that these misunderstandings are quite high even in the muslim countries um durba boshoda amader musliman bishwer moddhe muslim bishwer moddhe musliman desher moddho dekha jay je islam somporko ni amader onek onek bhul dharona roye geche misconception roye geche misunderstanding roye geche and i think as muslims we need to really look into islam independently amader ke kintu neutral position theke islam somporke jante hobe islam somporke shikhte hobe ebong qualified jara alim ulama roye gechen sara bishwer moddhe onader kach theke kono bishoy jodi amader misunderstanding theke jay shegulo ke ami amra clear kore nite hobe i see sometime people also um that those who didn't study islam very uh Uh, in 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 a, in a holistic way in a proper way uh, they have or they build uh, some sort of understanding their own understanding about the religion when you say a proper way what do you mean i mean uh, they have not studied arabic language from the beginning till end or maybe in a set course or or a syllabus or they didn't study tafsir and hadith under the qualified scholars and 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 ulama and teachers and then you see like it is not their profession like maybe they might be doctors or they might be engineers i don't mean to say that those who studied islam quite well and even after later their their uh, graduation but there are people who actually haven't studied islam uh, under any scholar or even like you um, mean uh, who are not academically qualified qualified to speak okay. for islam but then they come and say you know this is my understanding about religion eta amar mone hoy ei rokom kintu ei mone mone howar tar moddhe kintu bhul theke jete pare just the way i can't make any verdict on medical departments uh, or medical uh, uh, aspects because this is not my qualification this is not my subject similarly somebody else can't do about islam but unfortunately we see there are people they they kind of build some understanding about islam but they're not clarified or they're not really uh, confirmed or approved by the uh, religious uh, departments or religious um, uh, islamic centers how would you respond to an individual who would say during the time of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam there wasn't any formal sort of education there was no any formal sort of um, universities available well uh, during that time of course prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was there and he was alive and if anybody has any misunderstanding they would go and clarify with the prophet alaihi wasallam directly so uh, there was a system even though there was no university but there, there was a a proper system of seeking knowledge even at the time of the noble prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and the sahaba radiyallahu anhum so um yes i i believe that we within the muslim community within the muslim world we have people who have really negative 
views, negative understanding about this beautiful religion. Now, I want to uh, mention a few things that probably we can take one by one. Where are we failing? And one of the things the Muslim are or non-Muslims are misunderstanding about this religion. Uh, it is worth mentioning some of the things. I'm a monohoi kichu kichu point. Amra shamun yashle. Amader hoyto onek fayda hobe. Pratomoto amader modde onek er darna hoye je Islam dormo eta kintu ekta medieval era eta man ortha eta eta modde juger ekta dormo. It is an old religion. It is not something suitable for this time. This is a modern era. So why Islam should be spreaded? Why people should be talking about the religion. You know, it's just something old. It's like a Puratan Dharma. No, uh, it's uh, like a Puratan Dharma. Just, you know, occasionally, partially, Angshik Babi Jidam Rata, Anushoran Kore Nei, that's all it is. But on a show, I have an understanding that I have to say, I have to say, Puratan Dharma, but I have an understanding that Islam is a contemporary issue. It's not a contemporary issue. They won't talk about religion. They'll keep it personal. Hmm. They will deal with the public matter separately to the religion because a lot of people think religion is personal. Yes. Now, again, this is something that we need to understand. So people say there are people, I mean, uh, Muslims as well as non-Muslims, they kind of compare Islam with other religions such as Christianity and Judaism or maybe Hinduism. But uh, many people fail to understand that Islam is actually a is, is a complete code of life. It is a very good life. It is a very, very clear. I am going to say Rasulullah Karim sallallahu alayhi wa sallam life study. It's so clear that how he was in Mecca al-Mukarramah and how he was in Medina al-Munawwara, what he did in Mecca and what he did in Medina, and how he was a role model in every aspect and every walk of a human life. And this makes it very clear that Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he was an example for the whole entire human life, whatever you need, you find Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to be a role model. So uh, it is a big and, and a massive misunderstanding and misconception about the religion that it's old, it's not suitable for this time, it's not suitable for this era, it's a modern time, you know, religion doesn't fit with this modern world. But I would like to give some uh, a, a live examples. Ami kichu drishtan dite chachi, jodi ei dharma amader Islam dharma jodi puratan dharma hoto, eta jodi medieval era hoto, eta jodi moddho juger kono dharma hoto, tahole amake apni bolen, why keno eto boro boro Omusim Raske Islam Dormo Grohan Korchen. Apne Janin Hotta Shuntaparan, just in October, Sinid Korejan, Irish singer, she converted Islam. Islam Dormo Kishe Grohan Korechen, among she Irish Ejon Kubi Poshid Dejon Gaika, a singer. Islam Dormo Unikrohan Korechen. Tapra Erago Janin, the Lauren Booth, Mr. Tony Blair, the the sister-in-law, when you Islam Dharma Gohan Kore Chen, either on a borbo look at it, coming to Islam, they're converting to Islam. So you see, if it wasn't a religion which goes with the modern and time, the suitability of the Islam, then we need to understand uh, that, you know, why these people are really um, attracted by this religion, because this religion is, is it's, it fits, it befits and it's suitable for this um, time and, and it's always suitable for every time and era. Now many people would say why would we take example from such a sort of individual when we have got Sahaba Tabi'in Tabi Tabi'in so we don't have to look at those kind of personalities to understand Islam but rather no, I'm not saying, understand the Quran. No, no, I'm not talking about understanding but I'm saying if it wasn't the claim that has been made saying you know uh, which says that Islam is not suitable for this time and era then my question goes then why these individuals who are considered to be living in ultra modern society and yet they are accepting alhamdulillah Islam, they're, com they're, they're con attracted by Islam it's not anything to do with understanding but it's to do with to give an example that people are still Finding peace and being proud to be a Muslim, even though uh, they're coming from a different different directions. One may conclude: Is it because the understanding of Islam, because they have studied Islam, they have understood it in the full right context? That's why they have practiced or perhaps came into the Deen, rather than they have looked into the Muslim and accepted Islam. Um, I think uh, it's a bit of both. Sometimes, I mean, obviously we meet a lot of uh, new Muslims, alhamdulillah, by the grace of Allah. We meet a lot of new Muslims and a lot of Muslims who are converting uh, 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 to Islam in our centers, in our masajids, uh, by the grace of Allah. So we find people who are coming by looking into the beautiful 
um, character, beautiful mannerism, and be, you know, code of conduct of the Muslims, which are, alhamdulillah, still available. One of Muslim men, they have a lot of people who 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 have a lot At the same time, a lot of people are also seeing the religion itself, the theology. They are comparing, they are, they are, they are going through a journey. And alhamdulillah, many of them, they conclude that Islam uh, uh, is the last and final uh, revelation from Allah the Almighty. And uh, again, if it wasn't a religion which is not suitable for the time and era, then I uh, must say that um, you know, we have to see what's happening the reality even though we muslims we may not appreciate this beautiful religion but there are people out there who are appreciating and acknowledging the religion and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said very clearly in the noble quran if you turn away and if you don't appreciate this religion then allah the almighty will bring people from other faith and other religions and they will take and carry out the mission of the religion এই ধর্মকে যদি তোমরা গ্রহণ না করো এবং তোমরা অ্যাকসেপ্ট না করো এবং এটা এটাকে তোমরা কৃতজ্ঞতা প্রকাশ না করো তাহলে আমি অন্য জাতি থেকে মানুষদেরকে নিয়ে আসবো এবং ওরা ওই ইসলাম ধর্মকে সামনে নিয়ে যাবে সো আল্লাহ uh, that the part of this uniqueness or part of the uniqueness of this religion uh, of Islam is that it is suitable for every time and era. Uh, this is the um, clear statement of, 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 uh, of the scholars of Islam. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Noble Quran, uh, uh, Doesn't uh, the creator knows the need and requirements of the creation and he is the most expert he is the most kind and most expert so he knows the needs of, of, of a human being and Islam is the last and final revelation from Allah the Almighty and therefore it is suitable for every time and era and I, I think as a Muslim it is part of our faith not have to believe that it is part of our faith to believe that you know it's the it's the, it's the suitable religion. It's a suitable religion for every time and era, now, it's, and appropriate. Now, that's clear. But however, how much of us as Muslim do we dedicate enough time to understand the religion in comparison to the time that we dedicate for other stuff? That's, of course, a, a very important question as well. So I, I believe that we need to really, I mean, as I said, people are, we, in general, we people as human beings, we are inspired and influenced by other people, other individuals, other uh, celebrities, other nations, uh, you know, when it comes to theology, when it comes to um, knowledge, when it comes to uh, conceptions. But I think we need to really look into Islam from a very independent point of view. And this way we'll uh, find out uh, a lot of truth and a lot of beauty about this religion. Now, a lot of people, the, the misconception raises or the misconception arises from what we see Muslims, so-called Muslim perhaps, we don't even know whether they're Muslims or not in real life. Mm. However, the names flourishes on the print media or the broadcast media mm. and straight away we assume that that's a practicing Muslim. Mm. Now, perhaps he or she might have never been to any Muslim institution, has never been to any Muslim organization or any events. Yes. Now, I understand if the enemies of Islam make such sort of conclusion Whereas as Muslim, we use this as an example and say yep. that this look is at that what person the, look at that person mm, and yeah. this is the Muslim of today. So yeah. How can I be practicing yes, Muslim? Yes, I mean, if you remember, uh, we spoke in our last um, one of our programs that we live at a time of a lot of uh, turmoil and fitans and we said yeah. that. It's really difficult to identify. But I think uh, we have to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as well for the right direction. Amra Allah pak rabbal alamin kaasa jiggesh karta hobe and prarthona karta hobe amadar ke shotik rasta and shotik pot de kano janno. It is really important to ask for hidayah al-mustaqim which we do say in every uh, salah in every rak'ah of our salah in surah al-fatiha oh allah show us the straight path so um, i think we need to really uh, 
Um, so it is one of the uh, misunderstood concepts uh, about Islam, that Islam is not suitable. So I believe that Islam is suitable for every time and appropriate for every time and era. Then we look into other things like, for example, Islam um, is not a religion of coexistence, meaning um, that uh, uh, Islam, uh, if, if Muslims kind of somehow, if they have any influence over the society, then they will not let any other people to live in that society. So in other words, in other words, we don't have to be able to live in the society of Muslims. In other words, in other words, we all have to be able to hear the media about integration. 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 We all have to be able to consider that Muslims are not going to be able to integrate. And then followed, it follows with this allegation as well, that whenever we try to settle down in a community, in a society, in a country different to the Muslim country, uh, the understanding, the, um, the non-Muslim brothers and sisters, trying to take over the community or take over the country as yeah. if like we're mm. just going there yes. to do that now, why is that so there is a big misunderstanding about the coexistence coexistence ortat bangla ke amra bangla amra bole theke shohabasthan ortat amra onno dormer lokder sathe boshobash kora ek samajer moddhe oneker moddhe eta dharona thake je islam dharmo jodi ashe islam dharmo jodi kokhono joylab kore tokhon omusalman ra kintu ei samajer thakte parben na this is a misunderstanding and uh, i must say that prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam you see what he did after the conquest of Mecca. You know, Prophet was, was taken away, driven away from Mecca al Mukarramah from his homeland. And when he came back to the Holy Land of Mecca as a conqueror, and he, when, he, uh, when he conquered Mecca, then he had the upper hand. Rasulullah Karim sallallahu alayhi wa sallam came to power, chilo, when a shock to chilo. Even Oi, Protom je bokto bora sulle karim sallallahu alaihi wasallam den. Oi bokto bora mudhuni bolen joy lab korar pore makka joy lab makka joy pore. Uni bolen je idhabu fa antum tulaka. Uni unar je dushman jara chilen. Very like well known enemies of Islam at that time. Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said like you go and you are forgiven. You are you know overlooked. Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam forgave them. And not only that, in Medina al Munawwara, Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he lived with people of all faith. Yahud, uh, the Jewish community, the Christian community. Prophet Sallallahu he dialogued with them, he stayed with them, he gave them chances. Even, you know, the, uh, the people from Najran, when the, when the delegation from Najran came, the, Christi the Christian community from Najran came to Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. They had a long discussion in the Masjid al Nabi, in the Prophet's Masjid. And we, Masjid al Nabi, Bitore, Rasulullah Karim Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Christian, Dorman Luke, the Shetan, discussion Gorachan. Even Tarpore, Johan Namazes, another prayer. Rabbi Bare, when I did prayer, I showed him how to pray. Then Rasulullah he gave him, he gave them chances to pray within the Masjid of of the Nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So you can see the tolerance, the amount of tolerance Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam had, the amount of of compassion, an amount of you know the 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 ability of accepting others. Now, if you can just tell me in short, because we'll have to go for a short break, that why is it that atke Muslimman rastra pradan der madde eiguli kono buli dakha jai na kono as soon as we see Amader Shorkar, Ba Rashtar Virudde, Ba Rashtar Kono Critical Kono Jodhi Avastan Keo Niya Thakke, Shata Shata Tarke Thakke, they might be, you know, a victim of some sort of disappearances, perhaps, or perhaps a lot of other things. Amar Munho Ito Hoche, Oito Kinto Abar Chala Jai Jai Jai, Mani, Ekta Rashtar Kinto Gunabulir Muddhe, Ami Munho Kori Jai, Aapnaar Dekhen Amar Shubai Eidhe Shepa Shubash Kori, Shubai Amar Eidhe Shepa Shumsha Kori, Karan Tolerance Hache, Kota Bustte Vachan, Amar আমাদের মুসলমান দেশ থেকে কিন্তু এখানে লোক এসে বাসস্থান করছেন। মানে তারা আমাদের অনেক সিকিউর ফিল করে এরকম কিছু ওয়েস্টার্ন ওয়ার্ল্ডে। সো এবং এনি 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 হুকুমা এনি স্টেট হুইচ হেজ টলারেন্স এক্সেপ্টিং দ্য দ্য অপোনেন্স ভিউস দিস দিস স্টেট উইল রান লংগা দিস স্টেট উইল সাসটেইন মো এনি ট sustains more. It can be longer, I mean, long shumai, lomba shumai, it can be sustained. I mean, float on mukta thakte ove, people can share their opinion, debate their opinion, and discuss it. I mean, you know, 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 बोलते हैं जे ब्रिट बर्तुमा ब्रिटेन के अनेक दौरों ने नाजासी जा चले हैं इसी पर जे नाजासी चले हैं नाजासी जे उन्हें रूलर चले हैं एवं शासक चले हैं क्रिश्चियन दौर में दौर में मतलब बोलूं भी हुआर पड़े हो 
উনি কিন্তু মুসলমানদেরকে সাহায্য করেছেন মুসলমানদেরকে শেল্টার দিয়েছেন রেফিউজ দিয়েছিলেন এবং এই জন্য আমরা বলতে পারি যে এই গুণাগুলোতে থাকা প্রয়োজন দ্যাট টলারেন্স ভেরি ইম্পর্টেন্ট চমৎকার একটি কথা বলেছেন আমাদের এখানে শেখ দ্য ওয়ার্ড হি ইউজ ইজ টলারেন্স নাও অ্যাজ মুসলিম উই নিড টু অ্যানালাইজ আর সেলফ দ্য সোসাইটি দ্য উই লিভ ইন অ্যাজ মুসলিম হাউ টলারেন্ট আর উই লেট অ্যালোন টু পিপল হু আর নট হু উই আর নট রিলেটেড টু ইভেন উইথ আউন ফ্যামিলি মেম্বার্স উই ক্যানট আন্ডারস্ট্যান্ড দ্য ভিউ পয়েন্ট উই ক্যানট টেক দ্য ভিউ পয়েন্টস অন বোর্ড ইজ এ নট টাইম ফর আস টু রিফ্লেক্ট থিঙ্ক আনকন্টেমপ্লেট হাউ ক্যান উই চেঞ্জ this sort of attitude or behavior inshallah we'll continue our discussion regarding our topic islam a misunderstood religion after a short break do stay tuned with us we'll be right back in a few moment wassalamu alaikum